Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Lucius. We're moving right along today. We are now on to chapter 13, which is entitled Peeping Tom. So let's go ahead and let's get things started here. Let's first start out by taking a look at our Ouija board here to see if there's anything useful. Religious people use me for faith. You might turn me and gain your strength. Not a very useful hint in my opinion. We've been turning crosses pretty much since day one. But I guess that's just a little bit of a reminder to keep our eyes peeled for any crosses in the area. Now if we take a look at the map here, it is going to lead us to where to start this next case. And I do believe that this is the first chapter in quite some time that's given us any sort of hint where to start out. So that could be kind of useful. The marker is going to point us right to Susan who is going to be our next victim, our final housemaid. She's the one that's stayed around for the longest. Let's take a look at the notebook here. It says that she's taking care of laundry, even though clearly she is not. She tends to sort of wander between the laundry room and her little room in the servants' quarters. But what we need to do is make it so she's not able to do her laundry. We need to lure her away to an area where we can sort of get her alone to take care of her. So what you need to do is drop the iron into the washing machine in order to break it. Susan can't exactly do the laundry if the washer is broken. And once you've done that, Will will come along and fix the washer for us. Totally oblivious to the fact that it was us, which is good for us, of course. Keeping that element of surprise. And once you've broken the washer, you then need to go and find Susan in order to get the next hint on what to do. Of course, I know what to do, and I could go ahead and continue onwards but this doesn't take very long so we might as well just try and do this in the correct order and like i said she tends to sort of wander from her bedroom to the laundry room which is a pretty short span of distance so it won't be too terribly difficult to find her and once you've found her the marker on the map will disappear so just keep that in mind the marker will only show up until you've actually pinpointed her for the first time and gotten her information in the notebook. So she'll come into the laundry room, she'll see that Will is fixing the washer, and she'll mention that she is going to take a shower. I've managed to break the washing machine, Susan cannot wash any more clothes, she says she's going to take a shower, basically what I just said. If you haven't noticed it before, while you've been exploring around, the servants' quarters don't have any sort of utilities. It doesn't have a bathroom or a shower or anything like that. So she's going to use one of the upstairs bathrooms in order to take her shower. And if we go into this bathroom, we can see that there's a cross here. So let's turn that. And Susan will eventually meander her way up the stairs in order to take her shower. Now, she's a little bit slow, so if you don't want to wait for her, you can enter the room next to the shower, which should entice her to come all the way up here. Like so. Now make sure you turn the cross over before she gets in there because as you can see, once she's in, she'll lock the door from the inside and you're not able to get in there. A cross was affecting my powers in the bathroom. I turned it. Susan is on her way to take a shower in the very same bathroom. Now this room here on the map is the question mark room and this was locked right up until Tom's death, I do believe. This was Tom's work room as he called it. Uh, not much of a work room to me, more of a dirty, filthy film room. Uh, apparently your uncle was super into pussy hunters, because he has a whole heck of a lot of copies of these up here. 
And if you're wondering why we're in this room, we're here for a reason. What you need to do is look at the poster on the wall here, and if you peel it back, there's a little peephole. So using the peephole, we can look in on Susan, who lied to us. She's taken a bath, not a shower. But tomato, tomato, we're going to kill her anyways. And this actually works a lot better to our advantage, because we're going to be doing a little bit of shock therapy here. Once you've turned the crossover, we'll be able to use our powers of telekinesis. And we can use telekinesis on the hair dryer to put the hair dryer into the tub to shock Susan. Now, the hair dryer is plugged in, luckily for us. So what you need to do is just put the dryer right into the tub. And if you mess up, like I did, if it lands behind the tub, you're going to need to exit out of that view, go back and look back into the bathroom and the dryer will be back on the sink. So this can be a little bit difficult because you need to get it past the shower door and it can land on the floor, it can land at the back of the tub, it can land even on the wall and it can be kind of tricky to get it where you want to go with telekinesis but you have as much time to do this as you want. No one's going to come in here and disturb you while you're trying to do this. And Susan is totally oblivious. She's got her eyes closed, you know, she's enjoying her bath and she is really absolutely none the wiser that we have anything to do with anything at the moment. This usually takes me a couple of tries, but eventually you'll drop it right in there and shock the hell out of her. And we'll finish her off. This case has aged me considerably, Mr. Wagner. I'm no happier about being back here than you are to see me. I'm ready to take a whole new angle on things here. Another accident, right? Figures. I know it's starting to sound like a broken record, but the door was locked from the inside, so that's what it honestly looks like, although my gut is telling me something else. Just do what you have to do. I honestly believe we've been cursed, and nothing can stop this. I hadn't ruled that out either. I asked the parish priest to come and offer counsel. So you told them to come here. My father reacted quite badly. We need to find your father, Mr. Wagner. I really believe he can provide us with more information. I don't know how much longer I can keep the feds off this. They're asking me questions about a reporter who went missing. He was investigating your family when it happened. Alright, so another one bites the dust, and we can move right on to chapter 14 if we wish. And then of course we get the final remark in the journal here about Tom's workroom, which you can kind of figure out on your own, you don't necessarily need the notebook to tell you that, so relatively easy. A little bit of struggle with the telekinesis, it can be a little bit funky to maneuver, but once that's all said and done, Susan is taken care of and we can move on. And I need to make a correction from an earlier video. I had said that there's only 15 chapters, but I lied, there's 18. So for those of you who are really enjoying Lucius, that's gonna be some good news. We still have a couple more chapters to go and a few more deaths to take care of. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I hope that I will see you next time. Thank you so very much for watching.